Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to iRacing for another video. Today we are in the virtual, I think it's called the Virtual School MX5 Cup. Correct me if I'm wrong. We're really going to take up a fixed setup in the MX5 here, as you can see. It's my first race in the MX5, so I'm really looking forward to it. And guess what? Surprise, 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 surprise. Jimmy messed up his qualifying, so he's starting second to last now. Um, I've done a bit of practice in this car. I'm feeling sort of okay with it so far. Um... It's a very fun car to drive, it's a lot better than its uh, previous MX-5 counterpart, a lot more oversteer, a lot more fun to play with, a lot more actual feel in the wheel as well, which is nice. Um, and also using the H-Pattern here as well, it's a nice little challenging car to get to grips with if you are struggling with maybe uh, getting into racecraft or getting into the idea of driving uh, or racing door-to-door. Uh, -door. This car is fantastic for it because it's not massively fast. Uh, the racing's always very close, I mean, despite the fact that I didn't qualify here, it's like two seconds separating the grid. And in the virtual school, sort of, which is a bit like, I think, the old school Mazda Cup race, um, that's, not, that's not a bad gap. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I can get up there now and see, uh, well, get in the mix anyway, and hopefully put on a good show for you guys. I'm number five here in a field of 12, as one person has not taken to the grid yet. People revving on the grid, I haven't quite got my first gear yet. First gear is a good indicator that you're going to actually get to go very soon. So you just hear me on the side, they're just putting it in and out first gear. Very sexual. There you go, there's Rene, he's on the grid now, he's uh, behind us. There you go, first gear. And because this is a um, low class race, I need to try not to get any bumps or scraps at all. Anyway, red light's on, and... An okay start, a little bit tardy on the get-go there, and actually a little bit bad on the on the throttle, a little bit uh, too aggressive. Um, don't really like the idea of being squashed in here, the 12 car pulling across in front of me anyway, so that isn't going to be a, a problem. I'm just going to... I'm at the back of the field anyway, so there's no point diving into turn one. Stuff like that's going to happen. 12 car going very wide, coming back across. Just trying to be careful with where I place my car in relation to everyone else, because... Uh, because it is a, a lower class race, you do end up sometimes getting some uh, some casualties at the start as I'm going side by side with this number 8 car still. Don't want to be side by side here, but he's going to have to give him the inside now. Sort of a bad place for me to put my car. I've actually done a pretty awful start there, actually. I've gone backwards where I really should have gone forwards. But now we're in a frame of mind where we can actually try and make progress. So down into third gear for this part. Just aiming for that inside red caterpillar, as I like to call them. Missing it, of course. You don't want to actually hit it because it will kill you. Just going to do this, just going to weave a little bit to the inside, let them know that I'm here. So they're braking this, you don't really want to brake when you're going fast, but you want to sort of lift and uh, slide the car through. So I'm already, I can already tell that I need to be getting past these guys pretty sharpest if I have any um, intention of coming better than last. I've got the inside. Uh, number eight covers it though. Cars off to the left. A couple of white cars. White cars are always the devil when I'm racing. This car still there, still having an accident. Managing just about to avoid that, that's good. And I'm going to go around, around the outside of this 8 car, at least try to anyway. Now he's still there. This 8 car is really not wanting to let me through at the moment. There's a nice close battle between him and I, but I'm going to go up the inside here at the last corner. Make it stick. And he's still there, and I've missed the gear. That's giving the place straight back to him. Rene is holding me up something fierce, but he's defending completely within his right, so there's nothing I can do about it. Got to just make a run, make sure he can't defend, and then go from there. So down again into third gear. Just grabbing second at the last minute there. Accelerating to the inside of the course, just touching the little caterpillar. Poor caterpillar, I'm sorry. And now right on the back of Rene again. I need to find a way. I swear in the last race there was a Rene as well. It's French Invasion. Car a bit oversteering through there quite fun. I do like the oversteering characteristics of this car now. Makes it a lot more interesting to drive from a driving point of view anyway. Uh, racing as well. We have to be a bit more careful going through some of the uh, slower corners. Do we have to account for people maybe having oversteer, maybe coming out into your line? Uh, I don't know why I went into third there. A second then. I just had a bit of a brain fart. That's always a third gear corner, but starting to uh, lose a bit of ground now. I need to really get my, uh, my act together because this is not where I want to be at the start of the race. See, Bit of a lift through there, you fly through there, it's a little bit scary though, you can see the the, the ground that I gained on Rene though. Need to help me have another slow car. Hard to see through and coming to this court screw though, I outbreak myself quite a bit there. Up into fourth gear again, letting the car just slide down to the bottom, aiming it for the red bit at the bottom and missing it catastrophically and understeering quite a bit. 
I've, uh, I've done about 20 minutes of practice in this car. I'm pretty confident of getting it around the track. It's just that obviously I'm not quite hooked up yet in terms of the race pace. Hopefully we'll get there. Hopefully we'll get into the back of these guys and I actually have a fight instead of just sitting at the back here. But uh, there you go. Three laps down. Well, this is the third lap we're coming on to now. My lap time's been pretty poor. Uh, I need to be trying to get into the... Uh, what have we got now? What's the last one? 53. I want 43, so I'm going to try and get into the 41s at least, really. So I'll be two seconds off where I want to be. But I'm very confident we can find that speed. Now to second gear. I think that was nicer through turn one this time. A little bit smoother. This car does like smooth driving, but I feel like we just have to manhandle a little bit. Because of the nature of the of the beast. Light rear-wheel drive machine. Lots of lift-off oversteer if you aren't careful. Into fourth gear. Again, just a tiny bit of a lift through there. Letting the car just sort of drag the outside. Car off to the right. Too much of the uh, the curb, no doubt, on the outside, and just spun himself into the inside wall. Very easy to do around here. Into third gear again. Just massaging the throttle coming out of there. Very easy to get loose out there if you smash the throttle a bit too early. And now, probably the hardest corner on the track for this car. Sort of throw it in, trying to hit the caterpillar. You can hear how much I'm having to wrestle the wheel around just to try and make sure I stay on the straight and narrow and we are sort of coming on to this pack now of cars in front so I feel like we are going to have a fight soon which would be nice anyway oh Jesus don't get the off track one off track so far that's annoying hopefully that'll be our only one completely my fault just turned in too early and again getting that understanding I need to think being third through there I'm just hitting the brakes a bit too hard at the moment and it's just making me understeer sort of but these guys in front are about to have a little bit of a scrap, I think, which means I can just do the old cheeky thing and get involved. If I don't want to understeer for the last corner, another off track. I'm trying a little bit too hard now, I think. But Renan making some progress. I think I, I should be with him still. I should be probably in front of him now in terms of pace. I'm just not driving very well at the moment. Into fifth again. Looking for my breaking point. There it is. I'm missing the downshift there twice. It's always interesting when you're trying to go faster that you seem to not be as uh, adept at hitting the clutch. Sounds like a very silly thing to say, but it does become more difficult. I feel like I'm faster through these uh, sweeping corners. If I can just keep the speed through here and stop making little mistakes like touching the caterpillars, then I'll be fine. There you go, that's nice through there. Now it's time for us to make progress. Let's get this braking zone right. And on the power. Let the rear of the car push us around. All right, let's try and get this little kink right. We can gain so much time here. We get it right, I think. Wow, wow, <laughs> oh dear! I would have a go back and have a look at the top right-hand corner of the screen there and just see how much I panicked on the uh, the wheel there. You don't quite see it in game. Glad the wheel turned off. But I find that a little bit distracting in most cars. But uh, yeah, that was interesting. Still alive though, and we have gained somehow. Gonna keep it in third gear just for now. And now hit fourth gear. There you go, that's better. Oh, the guy in front is clipping the caterpillar. You see how much that unsettled him now. They aren't called caterpillars, by the way, guys. That is not the technical term. 12 car going wide. And now he's gonna be fighting with the 9 car going down to T1. This is my chance to take two in one. Nine car going up the inside. I'm going to try and get into the back of this 12. Oh, I'm getting a little bit scared. There's going to be contact in front of me. And if there is, I haven't really got much I can do about that. Nine goes up the inside. What does the 12 do? Nine goes too far up the inside. Hits the uh, eight car in front. Contact everywhere. And we're still going. Jesus Christ. That's me and Rene again now. Would have liked to have had a bit of a. I would like to have had a, a third screen there or a second monitor so I could look over to the left and see what was happening there. But I just thought, okay, well, I'm going to go to the outside. Hopefully it'll be okay. And it was luckily for me. So we've uh, now up, I think, into sixth place. Top fives on the card if we can catch Rene here. So it's not been a complete loss for us this race. Definitely not. Still got half of it to go. And I believe that I am faster than the car in front. I've just got to put in the laps. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? This guy's got his lines down, definitely. He knows exactly where to place his car. Okay, it's through there, it's just how much speed do you dare to carry? Because the car is always trying to sort of oversteer and push itself off the course. This is a very lively car at the rear end, this. It makes it very interesting to drive, I must say. 
car in front that's a very interesting line for the corpse through there just keeps it uh, keeps it within the uh, confines though again third gear third gear third gear and now fourth ah if i can hit it i think that's that's cost me so many races in iRacing racing over the course of my career it's just missing the shifts it happens when you're just trying that a little bit too hard that was a better last corner actually a sort of decent exit this time go behind has fallen back by a couple of seconds which is good it means that we're sort of safe for now uh, we haven't got to worry about that behind us just focus on what's happening in front which we will be doing taking a very late fifth there down to third and then down to second interesting how our lines differ through there I come in later I'd argue that my line is a superior one if I wasn't gonna mess it up by oversteering on the exit Yeah, that's a bit better through there. Look at that, getting it nice and sideways. I love this thing. Any car that goes sideways on demand is a car that's worth driving, definitely. So if you haven't driven this MX-5 yet, it's free. It's part of the uh, it's base content for iRacing, so go and give it a go, definitely. Okay, just, just running onto the curb there. Using all the road. I think that we're actually on a similar pace to this number, uh, the guy in fourth place, but he's a bit too far ahead for us to do anything, unfortunately. That's when it goes a bit wide there. Now he's now pushing now. I think he knows that I'm behind him. I think he knows that I'm a little bit quicker than he is, and maybe the pressure's getting to him. Maybe I can use that though. Maybe I can use that. To start putting my car in sort of attacking positions and see how he responds to it. Maybe he'll respond badly, maybe he'll, he'll respond well, but if he does, on the off chance, respond badly, and that's a free place for us without even having to get anywhere near him. Stuck it in fourth, then left it through there. I was once to see if it was any better this part of the race. It's not really. I still enjoy sort of grabbing fourth mid corner. Very similar pace between me and Rene at the moment. Down the second gear. Missing the brake actually there as I transitioned my feet on the pedals. See so Rene just trying to break any sort of minute draft I may have. It's not a big one. 42 4, a better lap time. Still not really where I want to be, but for the first race ever in this car, I'm not too upset as I actually really outbrained myself into T1 that time. Only hope is to try and get a decent exit, which is all right. You can sort of get a better exit if you come back. I did still lose time, but it wasn't quite as bad as it could have been. Again, just trying to clip the caterpillar. Can be just yanking the wheel back to one side there, trying to keep everything straight and narrow. Trying to use as much track as I can, trying not to slide the car too much, enough to turn it, but not enough so it's uncontrollable or it slows me down. There's a fine line. Down the third gear. On the throttle, nice and early there. Up into fourth gear, very nice there. Okay, now this is. I need to start doing this better. We are pretty much equal through there. I'm gaining him a bit going up the hill, but you do tend to close up to the guy in front coming up here. Just can't get the brakes right there. I do exactly the same as he does in front of me, getting a bit wide there on the exit, nearly going off to the, on the gravel on the left. Now I've completely compromised the rainy curve. There you go. It's that time that I've lost there. Very frustrating. So he's smashing it in third out there. We are catching the 11 car in front. We won't be on him in time for the finish, but maybe he'll be forced into a mistake by pressure as we go full opposite lock pretty much there out of the last corner. Rene getting a little bit further away from us. Come on, Jimmy, make it happen. I need to be fifth because I'm a number five car, otherwise, you know, balance is not restored to the universe. Down to third. Back end of the car does want to come around a lot, especially when you're braking. And down here, it's a downhill uh, corner, so obviously you've got a, a lot more sort of force with you, a lot more weight with you. So you have to take that into account in braking for that. And that's why you sort of see people going through there and having issues sometimes for the back of the car. Third off track, that has got to be the limit now. We will lose SR. Uh, I think we'll probably get a wash now with this. Maybe we'll even lose a little bit because of the um, sort of the, the ranking of the series. Uh, Rene is still pulling away, this is concerning. like that top five if possible need to rely on his mistakes now he went a little bit wide there nothing too solid but you know maybe the sign that he's feeling a bit ragged now we were fast through there in comparison to Renault you can see visually 
how much faster I was through there than he was. A couple more moments like that and uh, we're laughing. Second gear. That was nice through there. You want to transition on the, on the gear almost. Keeping it in third for turning. And now four for exit. <laughs> nice and slidey on the way out. Leader's smashed it, he's gone. I'm not bothered about him now, I'm bothered about the car directly in front of me. It needs to be something special now. There's enough trap, there's more SR gone. It's worth it though for the speeds. I'm going full real life blank pan race here, just cutting every corner. Doesn't matter, no trap limits. <laughs> Fifth. Oh, oh guy in front goes wide. I also go wide though. Ah, that's bad, bad exit. We, we had a chance to gain a lot of time there and we didn't do it. He's not hitting the apexes. Maybe the pressure is starting to mount up for him. There isn't much pressure going on here. I've always been sort of consistently a second and a half back, but it can't be that way. Slow car on the left. Who is it? It is one of the cars up top. I'm not sure if he's damaged or not. This could come into play. That's one. I think that was third place there. Who had an issue? And again, Rene just running it wide, allowing me to get a little bit closer. No doubt, distracted a little bit by what was going on in front of him. Oh, it was like it very loose out of there. Just about keeping it going though. Another off track for the uh, the books. Take a shot for every off track. Don't do that. You'll probably die. I don't think there's much I can do really, unless it's now a big mistake from Rene because I just don't quite have the pace. I thought I did, I thought I was faster than him, but he seemed to have sort of... Oh my god! <laughs> Car in front there on two wheels, I think that was a lag, but that was terrifying. There might still be an instant ahead. This guy I've spun might be frustrated, might... Oh, what? So, you might have a go at uh, the number 11 car for moves that isn't really on for T1, but we're only a second behind Rene now. Not quite close enough for a go at the position going into turn 1, but we'll see what we can do later on in the lap. Fingers crossed, it doesn't go poorly. It says that, and I missed fifth gear completely. Rene takes a very tight line into T1 this time around. I thought I'd follow his suit there. Into third gear. Still separated by only one second. Pretty much how it's been the entire race between him and I. Oh, we were slow to get off the corner there. That is going to really hurt us now for the rest of the lap. Into fourth. Can we be fast through here? It's important we are. Going to get another off track. Doesn't matter though, because now I'm in race mode. I'm not caring about my SR whatsoever. The guy in front definitely blinking a little bit. Maybe why he got involved in an incident. Who knows? Closing up a bit through there. You might have a chance into the course groove. Rene is poor through here. Let's see what happens. No, I'm going to be poor through here. So is Rene though, he goes very wide. Just about keeping it together though, going up the hill. This could be it. He goes defensive on the inside. I pull inside as well. Who's it going to be? Last minute overtake there. Just absolutely smashing up the inside. Come on. Very skatey on the exit there. Just backing him up on the apex as much as I dare. Oh, getting a little bit fast at the back there. Ah, no! Uh, I think we could have taken another position there, but we do just about hang on to fifth position. I, I took a really defensive line for no particular reason, sort of slowed me down a little bit. But fifth there in the end, on the last lap, we got there in the end. Uh, oh, you fuck. Jesus Christ. And there's some more uh, contact points for us. <laughs> Oh my god, that's awful. I wish people would look where they're going. One of the downsides to MX-5 Cups, unfortunately, is people do tend to be a little bit silly. My wheel's now at that angle, you can see in the top right. Um, so that, that isn't great, but fifth place and a pretty fun race. So, yeah, if you're enjoying uh, the content, make sure to hit that like button, etc. Give me some love, show me that uh, I'm not alone in the universe. Comment below as to what you'd like to see, or what you enjoyed seeing, or what you didn't like seeing. And I will see you next time for some more sexy sim racing content. Take care guys and have a fantastic day.